Hey everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining. I am going to go over my budget with me from October 8th to the 14th and then continue on from the 15th through the 21st. So this is last week's budget and I'm just going to review everything and see where we're at. My husband did get paid. He got paid $7.85 and we did have the rollover of $7.31 which does come out to five, or $15.16 but I'm going to check that. So... 15, 16, okay. And then um, Edward Jones did come out for 50. Internet came out for 81, Dance 90. Amazon, we paid 76. And we did pay, uh, you know what? We didn't pay for school lunches last week because we were gonna be on vacation. So there was really no reason to pay for them when they weren't gonna be there. So let's add these up. That's 297. So we'll take 1516 minus 297, and that comes out to 1219. Moving on down here, um, my spending was 20, or his, I'm sorry, his was 20, mine was 20. We didn't do groceries, gas, takeout, or miscellaneous, but we did do 30 for beauty. So that did come out to $70. So 1219 minus 70 is 1149. So then we'll move that up here. I don't know why it's not focusing. Come on. There it goes. Maybe. Okay. Um, 11.49. And we did do all of these, which was always 2.95, unless I don't do them, but we did all of them. So 2.95 off of that leaves, sorry, 11.49 minus 2.95 is 8.54. We didn't do anything for extra debt because we roll everything over. 8.54. And we are gonna roll all of that over to, to this week, which leaves us a zero base budget. All right, so moving on to this week, which is October 15th. So the 21st, his income um, was 850. It's that was actually more than that because he did get back pay for um, when they messed up on his paycheck, and and then they did bump him up to his right his right rate of pay. But I am going to just budget 850, and I'm going to take that extra overage, and I'm going to put that in saving challenges. So, and then my income. 1566 and then rollover was 854 so so take 850 plus 1566 plus 854 that gives us 3270 keep looking to make sure this is focusing needs to go out a little bit more. All right, so Amazon is coming out for 70, wait, nope, I already paid that one. I apologize. So City is where we're at, and that is coming out for $90 is the budget on that one. Alliant is our gas bill, and that is 122. And then our electric bill, did go up a little bit this month, actually quite a bit this month. It was 99, so it went up $33, but it's all right. PayPal, we are going to pay $294. And then my middle daughter's travel fund is gonna get 100. My oldest daughter's travel is gonna get her regular payment of 253. And then we're gonna pay $200 towards Discover. And then school lunches is the final one. And I say school lunches, even though it's lunch and breakfast, if they want breakfast um, at school rather than at home. So anyways, so we have 90 plus 122 plus 132 plus 294 plus 100 plus 253 plus 200 plus 60. And that totals out to 1251. 
So 3270 minus 1251 leaves us with 2019. And we are going to stuff all of these, which comes out to 395. It leaves us with 16. 24. I apologize for the lighting guys. It is it's later than normal and the lighting in here is not the best. So and then these will all be taken out. So we're going to subtract 295, which leaves us with 1329. We are not going to put anything towards extra debt right now because it's all going to get rolled over. I'm hoping to have money left over at the end of the month that we can pay towards a bigger debt. So we will just put this as a rollover to leave us with a zero base budget. All right. That is all for this week's budget with me. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you like. If you haven't subscribed, why haven't you? Why not? It's free. I love to have you along. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And for my returning subscribers, thank you so much for continuing to support me. I hope you have a great day. Bye.